So, as you know, the theme of a lot of what I do is use what you got. And we've discussed before, I don't have a lot of money on the homestead. I'm starting again, again, again. And so I bought a burnt out old building. Uh, it was a theme park lunch shack for 500 bucks. And I am going to turn it into my infirmary slash tack barn. Uh, it just got delivered today. Let's take a peek at it from the outside, if I can flip this. There we go. I just opened the door. I didn't get a good look at it when I bought it because um, it was full of hornets. And so I got stung as soon as I walked in. It's on a big steel skid. It apparently had wiring at one time. That's a really good cable. There's some good parts to this. I paid $500 for this. It's not in horrible shape. It's got a rubber roof. Pretty decent si siding for the most part. It's going to need windows and things like that, but we'll work with it as we go over the summertime here. So I'm wearing a my jacket uh, done up. I wish I had a beekeeper's mask, but I don't. And I'm going to go inside this thing and we're going to see what we're working with. And uh, I'm going to try and film while we go here. If the phone goes flying, you guys are going to see it all because uh, I'm going to let you see it all because you need to, right? We all learn together. So here we go. So, oh, my glove is in the way. See, I'm wearing my gloves too, just to protect my hands. Um, Let's see, let's take a peek inside here. Sorry guys, I'm really trying not to obscure the camera. And we'll... Okay, so as we walk in, let's look. I'm not going to be looking with you because I'm going to be concentrating on what I'm doing. But we can see the dismay inside and the destruction. This was the kitchen portion. You can see the old stove. I'm going to throw some of this debris out of the way so I don't trip if I have to run out of here. You know, uh, you can see the insulation. It's pink insulation, though, so that's good. I'll wear a mask when I start tearing this apart. There's some shelf brackets and things that we can see on the floor here. <coughs> this would have been the old oven box. And there, stove top, sink. So that's good. We know it's got plumbing. Obviously, some of it's going to have to be replaced. But it's the bare bones, right? We'll scrap it all, pull out what we can. There's some scorching on studs and stuff, but it's not horrible by the looks of it. None of the main supports are scorched all the way through, I don't think, in a horrible way. I think it's mostly surface by the looks of it. Pretty charcoal, though. I might want to put some extra supports up there. You can see that one's broken off in transit, but you can see that it wasn't too badly scorched. So I'll, I'll put some extra supports up there to reinforce that roof. It used to obviously have full wiring, so that's good. Uh move some of this stuff and hope hopefully the hornet's nest is not anywhere underneath my feet i don't know what those are there's some metal rings over there uh let's see if i can move this window grate that's actually a great size because i needed a fire pit cover <laughs> all right so tiptoe through the debris i really don't want to get stung again because that was a horrible experience to be very honest with you and I don't want to, uh, you know, have this thing's roof come in on me either. It's got some solid wooden shelving and boxes. Cupboards, I would assume, maybe. Move some of this stuff out of the way. Oh, look. There's an old grease gun. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, walk over this bird's nest. All of this will have to get pulled out. I don't know what that is. It looks like some kind of fan. Oh, I don't like being in creepy places like this. You know, oh, look, there's an old deep freeze. I can use that to store feed in. That's a good thing. That side doesn't look like it was as badly burnt, maybe, as this side. A whole bunch of debris here, so I'm going to have to wear a mask. I'm not, not actually going to walk all the way, all the way in. There's an old cooler here which again, maybe I can put a, when I pull it out, put a wooden door on it and use that for, because the metal box is still good. Use that for feed or tack. Uh, that might help out. I don't know what this is, some kind of bookcase maybe, or something like that. The scorching's nowhere near as bad in here, to be very honest with you. There's even an old water cooler over there. I'm peeking around the corner because I really don't want to walk in. I don't know what that stuff is. I'm going to have to look at this video afterwards. 
again, I'm trying to make sure I don't disturb the hornet's nest. Apparently there was a nest of skunks underneath here too, but they all left when they picked up the building. So all of this will have to just, this is just going to have to just get carted out. Other than that, there's not a lot in here that's going to be that horrible. There's looks like another sink there. Some other kind of cupboard there. Some kind of way up on the wall. Can I get, no, that's the ceiling. Right there, I don't know what that is, but we'll figure that out. Interesting, interesting. There's even a garbage bin sitting over there. So I think we can make this work. I don't think it's going to be too horrible. Once we get it emptied out and pulled down, all this stuff pulled down off the roof, you can see the old, uh, way down at the end there, you can see an old um, uh, air conditioning unit. Obviously, that'll be garbage. But, you know, the floor looks pretty sound over there. And and the damage over here is, is damage, but it's not. I really do think that the bones are strong. So as long as the bones are strong and we can get this, cra this uh, stuff, I almost said the C word, uh, all torn out of here. Once we got it all gutted, that support beam there looks like it needs to be replaced. Look, it's cracking right up high. So that one's going to have to be replaced. It's a good thing it's on the end, though. That's good. Not in the mi middle of the roof. That one there, too. Look, all that. And it's starting to buckle. That's removing it when they put it down. So we'll have to uh, reinforce those. So, yeah, I guess not so horrible. It'll work. So, it's me. I'm going to start cleaning up this burnt out old building that I bought. I love this building. It's really, its bones are very solid, but it's uh, in pretty rough shape. It was an amusement park lunch shack uh, that burnt in 2002. I found some documents in it. Um, I wish I had some help here today as it's sweltering hot again. We're going into another heat wave, but we'll just get at it and uh, start making use of this building for storage, if nothing else, at the moment. There's a bunch of fiberglass insulation and things hanging down, and uh, with the heat and some new medication that I started taking, I just want to make sure I'm safe, so mask on. Just realized it's inside out. Mask on. Actually, it's not inside out. <laughs> Safety first, right? So, let's see what treasures we find in here. There's an old garbage can over here I just saw. I'm going to grab that, put these bags in, hold the bags for me while I'm filming. I'm going to keep any old siding or anything that I find. Because there's some repair work that needs to be done on the side of the building. Maybe this will do it. I just heard a wasp. I'm not enjoying that sound. When I came to see this building originally, I got stung immediately when I walked in the building by a big hornet. So I really want to be careful. Because I really don't feel like getting stung. Anything that I can burn, I'm actually going to throw in a pile. Or that I can take uh, to the recycle. got all these old hoops in it from uh, when they would have the broom and the garbage bag and then sweep in in the amusement park. I think I'm just going to hang them over here for now. bunch of old shovels as well in here from sweeping up I would think the amusement park. 
So we'll put those off to the side. Maybe you can use and salvage some of those. An old push broom. There's quite a few treasures in here by the looks of it. sorts of shovels in here. Let's see if I can get you guys a better angle, I'm sorry. A whole bunch of little wisp rooms. Maybe some of those are salvageable. I don't know what I need a million wisp rooms for, but we'll figure that out after. telephone cable we don't need, obviously. Although it would work as a laundry line, wouldn't it? But I think in this case we'll just throw it in the bag. Nobody home. melted and stuck. They're in some kind of holder, that's what I'm pulling them out of. Some kind of big holder that they were in, we'll just lug that right outside.
So it looks like there's all sorts of stuff in here. We'll just keep going. glass in here too I'm finding now I can hear it Somebody's umbrella, sun umbrella. Holly.
that broom head's still good. The handle's not, but the head is, so maybe I can actually put that on a good handle. We'll keep that one. All the bags came from the loop program that I'm in. I think that's great. The box had been broken open so they couldn't sell the box of garbage bags. These are actually recycling bags and I guess it's very appropriate that's what we're doing is recycling this building.
Stop eating stuff. So sometimes you just got to get in there and do it. And I want to clean this up and there's a bunch of stuff under there and it makes sense for me to stand it up. So I'm going to stand it up.
I am covered in stuff. And it has been several hours since this project started. I'm not finished, as you guys will see in a second. We're going to let it air out in there a bit. I have cleaned up twice already and washed down. You know, I don't even want to know how much dust is under this mask. And that mask was changed several times while I was working. Uh, so you really need proper protective equipment when you're doing this. But it's almost done. And we're going to hose me down a little bit. Well, by we, I mean me. Um, 